Hey, Dragon Slayers. This morning I was 2.42 and I just got through eating about 30 minutes ago. My glucose is 108. So today is going to be my second to last video for now in the My Mistakes series of videos. And this one is probably going to resonate with a lot of people out there. It was thinking that I was healthy because I was young and physically fit. So unfortunately, you can be thin and still have insulin resistance. You can be thin and still have a heart attack. Your weight is not 100% an indicator of your health. Health and physical fitness are not the same. You can be very physically fit and unhealthy at the same time. And I know that seems strange. You're like, how is that possible? Well, what you eat is so important. I was one of those guys that just worked out all the time, ate whatever I wanted, not a lot of sugar, but I did eat a lot of fast food and a lot of junk food and just typical college kid crap, right? And it caught up to me because I was building insulin resistance that whole time, not knowing that I was building insulin resistance because I was so active, I didn't actually gain weight. But the second I stopped moving, that's when I started to balloon up. So you don't have to be overweight to have fat or excessive fat on your body. Um, in fact, it's possible to have fat that grows around your organs and underneath instead of underneath your skin that's known as visceral fat and it isn't so obvious uh that you can have it and not look overweight at all which is like really crazy you can have high visceral fat in around your internal organs and not look overweight uh, it's even possible to have as much visceral fat as an overweight person and look perfectly healthy uh, some people call it skinny fat. Um, we The medical term is actually, it refers to as metabolically obese. Normal weight, which stands for M-O-N-W. So that's metabolically obese, normal weight. So even though you look healthy, having too much visceral fat, that's the fat that's around your internal organs, it can still significantly increase your risk of developing type 2 diabetes as well as a whole host of other metabolic diseases. Just because you're a healthy weight, it doesn't mean that you're healthy. You know, we've always associated in our society that like, oh, as long as I'm within a BMI scale, as long as I'm within these two, these two numbers, these two ranges, I must be healthy. There is so much more to health than that. You know, you need to have a proper diet, as Dr. Ken Berry would say, a proper human diet. Uh, when you eat a lot of foods that are high in sugar, unhealthy fats, trans fats, saturated, uh, well, like trans fats and um, just like bad oils. So like nut oils, seed oils, things of that nature. They can actually increase your visceral fat in your body and by, by proxy raise your blood sugar. So... <clears throat> Just know that I can speak for myself. I was that guy, like I said, that I used to be super fit. I was very strong. I was very muscular. Outwardly, I had uh, what I thought was a low body fat percentage. <laughs> but over time, you slowly build insulin resistance. The thing about diabetes and prediabetes is that you don't just wake up one day and bam, like you're prediabetic or bam, you're diabetic. It's a process over time. And I kind of try to follow the 80-20 rule, which is I try to do right and do what I know is best for my health 80% of the time. Then the other 20%, I don't care. Well, that used to be the old me. <laughs> the new me is more like 98-2%. I try to do right 98% of the time. And then that 2%, I'm like, ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. So just know that, as I mentioned in a previous video on that spectrum of health, and you want to head that direction to the healthiest that you could possibly be. So don't think that just because you're young or fit or thin that you can't get any sort of issues later on in life. 
That's what I've got for you guys today. And remember that together you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.